What is good, people? We are back at it again. As you can see, we're back by the Rhine. It's a nice day, nice and sunny. You know, it's supposed to be a, a bit uh, snowy weather in the upcoming days, but right now we got some sun, no snow. It's still pretty cold, it's about six degrees. And um, yeah, just out here enjoying the view. Today we got a jack review for you guys, uh, the Babe Canada Goose collaboration. I'm sure you guys have heard a lot of stuff about it. There's a lot of hype around these these uh, these jackets that are coming out, and uh, there's two vests that are coming out, two jackets that are coming out. And you know, if you think about it, the last drop that they had, they had blankets, they had beanies, they had all types of stuff, scarves and stuff like that. And this one, we only get two jackets, which is a little bit disappointing, and I'll talk about that later. But um, yeah, today we got the. We got the white colorway for you guys, the ABC camo, and then we also got the the classic camo colorway, the one that everybody wants. Yes, this is a jacket, it's not a bag. Like I said, we'll get into that later. Um, first, let's talk about this jacket that I got on. So, with the sizing, and I'm gonna stand up later so you guys can, see, so you guys can check out the sizing. With the sizing, this is an XL, right? And I know a lot of people come to the channel to try to get sizing on Bape stuff, right? So it's like, I got the Canada Goose jackets the last time, but the last time I got a bomber. This is called a Crafton Puffer, right? So technically it's a different cut of a jacket. It's a different way that the jacket is made, so it's a different cut. So again, I went with an XL. I also got a double XL just because I didn't know if it was they were gonna put it in the babe sizing because um, on this go around, I actually was able to get them, was able to see them off the babe website as well. The last time I wasn't able to see that, so I wasn't sure if it should be Bape or Canada Goose sizing. So I didn't know whether to go with the Canada Goose sizing or the Bape sizing. Cause normally with Bape, I go double XL. Everything I wear in Bape is a double XL, except for like maybe some types of sweatpants, some types of beach pants, but mainly double XL. And uh, I'm 180 centimeters and I'm at about 88 kilo kilograms, kilometers, <laughs> kilograms right now, kilos. And uh, so I usually go with double XL. This is an XL. I'm actually gonna stand up so you guys can check this out. All right, so this is the XL sizing, right? As you can see, there's a pocket in here, a really nice pocket. You can throw a bunch of stuff in there. Real cool. We also got one on the other side. Nice mesh pocket. You can throw a bunch of stuff. A lot of stuff's going to fit in here. And what I really like about this jacket is it's super, super puffy, you know? So I get the zip if I can. Super, super puffy. Goes all the way up here to your neck, so it's like... You know, turn it to the side, it's, you know, it's good, you know, you can also put it all the way on your head. If you never had a Canada Goose jacket, the reason why they call it Canada Goose, well, okay, there's also Goose inside, but I think the reason why they call it Canada Goose is because when you close it up all the way, and you, like, it looks like a goose head, right? <laughs> like, actually, I don't even know if you can still hear me on the mic, but like, if you, t if you, if you do it all the way up, it looks like a goose head, you know, which I think is super dope. And, um, yeah, there's, there's, there's really faint details of Canada Goose and Bape collaboration here we got the Bape patch which is the classic Bape patch right and then here we got the Goose patch which is super dope on the last collaboration there were a bit more patches on here but um, on this one we only get two we only get one on each arm and then also all throughout the jacket you got the Goose and then you got the Bape right and then also on the inside, you got the goose. And then you got the babe. Which is pretty dope to just throw it in there. And then the part that I had no idea about really until I actually put the jacket on. So if you look into the pocket, right, it's super deep. But then there's also this. I was thinking to myself, why do they got this goose, why do they got this goose tag in here? And then another babe logo, right? And then if you, if you, the pocket is super, like it's super deep. I pulled it out and I was like, what the, kind of looks like a bag. It's because it is a bag. You can turn it into a bag, right? So if you look at this one, this is the double XL. It turns into a bag, which is pretty dope. If you go into, if you're going indoors and then you don't really need your jacket, you can just fold it all up into this little bag right here, which is, I don't know if they've been doing, how long they've been doing this, but Patagonia has been onto it for years. And I think it's nice and dope that you can, you know, if you're indoors and you don't need your, you know, Canada Goose vape jacket, but you still want people to know you got one, boom, it's right there, you know? Nice and 
you know what I'm saying? I mean, you can't really put anything else in there. It's just a jacket, but still, either way, you know, sometimes you go into places, you got to check your jacket or whatever. You don't want to have this big, giant, puffy jacket when you're indoors. So it turns to a bag, which I thought was a pretty nice addition to the whole get up. Now back to the jacket. If you don't want to turn it into a little bag like this one is, you can also turn it into a backpack. It's going to get a bit chilly in here. Ugh. You can also turn it into a backpack. And that is pretty standard for, for, the, for the Canada Goose stuff, uh, to turn it into a backpack. But it doesn't say a bathing ape on the straps on normal Canada Goose bags. So, you know, this is actually a pretty nice, you know, subtlety as well, just so that you can see that it is a collaboration, that it is actually, you know, so that also is a pretty nice addition to, to show that it is a collaboration, a bathing ape. Canada Goose, really nice. The only trick is <laughs> getting it back on. Isn't so easy, you know? But I mean, I guess you won't be in such a hurry. And then voila, the jacket is back on. Um, also here, if you roll up the sleeve, you can see that there's a nice protection from the wind and you can put your gloves on over that so that it's like, you know, nice and snug. But then whenever you're wearing the coat, you can't really see it. You don't really notice it. Maybe whenever you go to check for your watch, whenever you try to see what time it is or something like that, you might notice it. Like, you know, you have to kind of pull back, not one layer, but two layers just to get to your watch. Um, but other than that, man, it's a pretty solid jacket, really puffy. Now, the only thing that I don't like about the jacket is that it costs a bit much, right? So it's gonna be 1395, so it's gonna come in at around 1400 euros, which is, a ton a ton of money for a jacket uh if you are making an investment to where you're going to keep this for five years then yo you know power to you but me i'm a bit dangerous with jackets because i say that and then i end up buying a new one you know like i got the last can it can in it but i got the last drop whenever they came out with this that was like two years ago i got another babe jacket for this winter and now i got you know one of these jackets it depends on which colorway i keep but you know it's, it's a dangerous game when you're paying 1400 bucks for a jacket uh, another thing that I don't really like about the jacket is the material. So in the pictures, it kind of seemed like it was more of a matte finish, but if you look closer, it's more of like a glossy type finish. When you when you look at it, more slick back, more like a like a para like a para jumper jacket almost, and that's not really like really what I'm feeling. Um, another thing would have to be the material. If you think about the material, you think about in your everyday life what you're doing and like how you how you're you know, getting around and, you know, putting your backpack on or like going through doors or say you're out, you know, where bushes are or something that might get snagged. If this gets snagged, <laughs> arrivederci, it's a uh, chaos, you know, it's, it's gone, it's, it's finito. And um, that's another thing that I don't really like about the jacket. But other than that, you know, it's super warm. Uh, the temperatures are going to be from negative 15 to negative 25 degrees Celsius. So, I mean, if you think about it, you're never going to get cold in this jacket. I put it on just to check it out to see how cold it was. Today it's about 6 degrees, I think. So it's not that cold, like I said, but, you know, it gets the job done. Another thing I really would have liked that they put on this jacket was a zipper on the side. Whenever you, sometimes, they just have here where you can tighten it up to where it goes, you know, more tight around your body, you know, so it doesn't look so puffy. And you can do that. You can adjust that here. They also have some on the hood. When you put the hood up, if you don't want the hood to be so puffy, you can also just, like, adjust this right here. But, I mean, other than that, a, a zipper on the side would have been really, really nice, you know? I mean, of course, they have this where you could do kind of like this, you know, if you get a bit too warm. Because it is a really warm jacket and you don't want to only wear it whenever it's super warm and then you're hot and then you're warm and then, you know what I'm saying? You guys have probably gone through this whenever you're wearing a jacket that's like that. But a thing on the sides, on both sides, would have been a lot better to keep this zipped up in the front and then have the things on the sides to be a little, a little bit more breathable. Or if you would have had one like underneath the armpit, I know sometimes they have jackets that have, <laughs> this was, I was going to say, oh shit, they do have a thing underneath the armpit. You know, sometimes they do have that on the jackets Ooh. underneath the armpit. But that's really my only gripes that I have with the jacket. Other than that, it's really nice. Like I said, it keeps the wind out. You know, you stay warm. It keeps you really cool. This is the XL right here. And I'll do, you know, let you guys see what the XL is looking like. Which is really, it's, it's, it's good for the size. 
you know which is really it's good for the size you know like i said size wise you know 180 centimeters 88 nice. kilograms so you know that's where i'm sitting out here with an xl and i will also try on the uh the double xl for you guys but um yeah all in all pretty pretty solid jacket I'll also actually wait i'll <laughs> i'm gonna before i take this off i'm gonna show you guys how this goes with the with the zipper so it's a zipper like this also has the has the details the babe details camel cam, camel goose canada goose details and uh you unzip this here and then you just start pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling and this is a whole jacket and this is a double XL jacket, by the way. And it, it folded up into this little, this little bag, you know? And then this strap are these straps here. So this is the double XL. And again, I said that in my last video when I was doing the review on the, uh, on another babe jacket. I like to go double XL sometimes, even with jackets, to wear a hoodie underneath, right? This, you're not going to need to wear a hoodie underneath. Also pretty nice, you know? I mean, it could it could go either way, really. You could, you could rock it either way. It doesn't really matter. You could go with the XL, you could go with the double XL. Me, for example, I don't know. What are you guys thinking? Maybe drop a, drop a thing in the comments, see which, see which looks better on me. Which colorway as well, because I don't know if I'm going to go with this colorway or that colorway. Um, let me know what you guys are thinking, man. What's, what's, which one's looking better? You know, I trust, I trust you guys' judgment. You guys always keep me honest in the comments, you know, keep me, you know, fresh. If something's good, if something's bad, you let me know if you have suggestions and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Let me know how you guys are feeling about this jacket. Another thing, this jacket is pretty heavy. Um, jacket's pretty heavy. It's a pretty beefy one. You know, I like beefy babe stuff. And also in here, if you look at the tag. This is the 30th, the 30th anniversary edition, right? So 1993 is when Babe started. And um, yeah, super nice. There's all the, the boring stuff that you guys wanna look at that for the XL. And then also here, you know, pretty good quality. Made in Portugal, I wouldn't have thought that. But it says a bathing ape and it's got the Canada Goose in here for the tags. These are the tags that are really important. Don't ever, ever, ever take these tags off of a coat if you have a canada goose coat if you take this off then it like voids the warranty if anything breaks but yeah guys all in all really beefy jacket really nice jacket let me know which colorway you guys are feeling which colorway should i keep should i keep this colorway should i keep this colorway i can't keep both unfortunately because it's fourteen hundred dollar <laughs> you know what i'm saying that's that's a little you know a little a little beater with a heater you can get a little cheap car for that you know what i'm talking about but um yeah let me know how you guys are feeling about these jackets man you know it's it's always nice to pick up some babe stuff, but you know, I think for the next one, they should probably try to, they should really try to give us more. You know, I feel like they just kind of took this out the oven a little bit before it was finished. You know what I'm saying? I think they should have put a little bit more time into it. Um, but hey, you know, it is what it is. They sold out in seconds, as you, as you can imagine. And it's a $1,500, $1,400 coat. So, you know what I'm saying? Let me know what you guys are thinking. Which one should I keep? Which one are you guys rocking? Which one are you guys dropping? And uh, until then, continue to stay awesome, continue to stay fresh. And we see you guys in the next one. Peace.